Hello guys and welcome back to another Windows 10 video. This time we're doing build 9926 or the January technical preview. As you can see this looks like 9901 but looks a lot different from 9879 because of the new taskbar. So in the new taskbar things that are uh, open like this window down here has a line underneath it and when you hover over anything it has a little background that's shaded which is pretty nice. So in this build the start menu is different, a lot different actually and here it is. So, as you can see, there's a new image of me, and a circular image. There's a power button here, and a full screen button here, which makes the start screen go full. Or start menu, sorry. So, on the left side, there's places most used recently added, and you can see a list of all your apps that you used to be able to. And uh, they've enhanced the scrolling, so it actually works now. And on the right side, you can see all the tiles you've pinned. Which is a lot different from what it was before, and uh, I don't know really know why how the layout of this works, but it's a bit weird. And uh, all the tiles look a bit small, but I think they'll fix that in the future. So, uh, yeah, the next thing to show is uh, Cortana, which is down here in the bottom, and it's uh, the same thing as what was in 9901, but it actually works this time. In If you press this hamburger button, you can go into settings and change it so you can turn on hey cortana which i haven't actually got to work yet but we might as well try it now hey cortana what's the weather like today and nothing i'll just uh press this mic come on hello what's the weather like today and it's taking quite a long Something's time not right and there we go, it's not working for me, it doesn't like me. But yeah, there's I don't really know, but when they showed it off in the conference it worked, or the event, or whatever. But I can't get it to work now, so, you know, that's a nice thing, I guess. <laughs> okay, so next thing is a system tray icon. So as you can see here, volume is a bit different. And what's this? Oh, notification center. So is it going to just pop up here again? Nope. Notification center has changed, and if you swipe in from the side, the notification center comes up because it's actually replaced the charms menu. Thank God, <laughs> the charms menu is gone. It has nine settings at the bottom here. If you press this expand button, tablet mode, display, connect, settings, airplane, and so on and so on. Speaking of a uh, tablet mode, continuum is a thing in this build. So if you click uh, this button here. It changes into tablet mode, or it should. And tablet mode is a bit different, and I uh, can't get it to work for some reason. Ah oh, yes, here we go. So when you click on a window, it full screens, you can drag down from the top like you could in uh, Windows 8, and it's not working. Oh gosh, it's, you should be able to drag down from the top and drag to the side here and drag to the side. I'm trying to do that, but you can't see it with my finger, and for some reason it's not working. But it would be working, and you get you get the thing. You can use do the snapping UI, which was you could do before Windows 8 Touch. Oh yeah, I'll just do it with a mouse because why not? So it works with a mouse, so you can put things side by side. And then there's like the thing here, like in Windows 8, which I should be doing with a touch, but I can't do it. And uh, when you press the Start menu, it goes full screen, and you can't turn it back. So now I'll just uh, get out of tablet mode. And show you the new settings app, which we already saw in 9901, but now it's a bit different, it's a bit polished, and when you go into the things, the UI is all completely changed. This is the same app that will come be coming to a Windows phone because it's universal, and now that it's all finished, it looks pretty good. As you can see, network and internet, personalization, all of this stuff, it all looks nice. A bit unfinished, but you know, that's to be expected. So... And last time we took a look at the beta store or beta store or beta store or whatever, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's changed a bit in this build as well, if I can find it. So now, unlike in 9901, it actually loads for me, which is a good thing. But it's taken away music and movies and it just has home apps and games now, which is different from what it had before. But it actually loads all the stuff now, <laughs> which is uh, nice because it didn't do that before. And you can see uh, downloading things and uh, apps here when it loads and stuff. And this is back, it's all pretty nice. The old store is still there, 
but this will replace it and probably we'll see the finished store build so um, yeah let's say let's see some new apps these were actually in 9901 but i didn't go over them in my video for some reason because i just didn't know about them but there's a new alarms app here it's nice i guess it's a bit different let's see uh calendar no calculator sorry calculator the new calculator it's like so such a nice ui when full screen <laughs> oh gosh there is a contact support icon, I mean, an uh, app down here, which is just something that you use to contact Microsoft support, and it does some cool stuff. It doesn't actually load. And, oh yeah, there's something. If you didn't notice already, modern apps have a different um, title bar now. They finally fixed that black title bar bug. Some apps don't have the uh, hamburger button at the top here. Some do. And there's a full screen icon now, which is nice. Yeah, let's see if my device does anything. Chat online, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not even going to do that because someone already proved it doesn't work. And the last app is uh, Photos, which they talked a bit about at the event. If we go down here to Photos, you can see the Photos app is a lot different where you can see all the photos of it on here. And then Albums, Folders, Send Feedback and all that stuff. And uh, my Photos app is really taking a long time to load because I've got loads of them, but you know. And... Uh, Looks like we had a little crash there. I don't even know. So that's the new photos app. And you can see that in more detail if you go to the uh, Windows channel or whatever. So the last thing is the Xbox app, which is pretty cool, actually. The Xbox app in future will allow you to do a lot more than it does now. But if we load the Xbox app, you can see on this side you have My Gamertag, Home Achievements, Messages, and the Game Store as, and Settings. On this side you have a list of your friends, a list of your achievements is here, and the activity feed is here. So this is what you would see on Xbox One. I don't have one, but I will at some point. And you can see all the clips people have done, all your achievements here, all your friends here. Then you have messages, and notifications I'm guessing, refresh button, and a smiley face. And in the future you'll be able to stream Xbox One games to a Windows 10 PC, which sounds pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to be using that a lot, and uh, this app is really nice. Let's see if there are any settings for it. Uh, seems like there is not. Okay, so the final thing is the file explorer icon has changed, and so have some of the icons. Desktop documents, downloads, music, pictures, videos are all different. And if, in my opinion, they look absolutely awful. <laughs> That's the best way I can put it. I'm going to guess they uh, are placeholders, but they keep getting worse each time, so I'm not going to hold my breath. In the in the, in the the uh, final one, they're going to look so bad. <laughs> no, I'm just joking, but seriously. Oh, gosh. Well, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next Windows 10 video, which will f probably be the February Windows Phone preview. I'll, be tr I'll try and get that to work. And then there'll be another technical preview build in February that I'll be showing off on my channel. So make sure you subscribe for that. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.